Let's take a look at exactly what a grading curve is. There's two kinds of grading curves that a teacher might use. The first kind of grading curve is where they take the span of grades and they'll take the highest grade. Let's say the grade, highest grade is 92. So they'll take the highest grade, which is 92, and then they'll say that's now a perfect score. So they'll add eight points because 92 is eight points shy of 100, which would have been a perfect score. They'll add eight points on to every other score. So essentially, they'll take the whole span of scores and say, since the highest was 92, we're going to treat that as 100 and move everybody's grade up eight points. So this 92 plus eight literally does become 100. Somebody else maybe who had gotten an 84 with the curve now has a 92. So an 84 curved on this curve, on this grading curve, would be a 92. That's the first kind of grading curve. I think it's the one we see most often, especially in high school and in lower grades. The second kind of grading curve is a distribution curve, where um, a teacher, maybe even before the class starts, before the semester starts, says there's going to be a certain amount of A's, B's, C's, D's, and F's. Um, and we're going to distribute those grades across this. We're going to have you know, 15% A's and a certain percentage of B's, C's, D's, and 5% F's. And that would be called a distribution curve. And then as the tests come in and as the grades come in through the semester, the professor or the teacher would actually change the grades to fit that distribution. So let's say he had said there'd be you know, 15 out of 100 students in the class should get an A. Whatever the top 15 grades were in this span of grades, in this list of grades, whatever the top 15 grades were, even if they'd all been Cs, will now be As. So it doesn't matter what percentage they got right, those top 15 scores will now be As. The bottom five scores will all be Fs. That's a much less common grading curve, I think. I think we see that the we see this kind a lot more often. Although I've heard in university we see um, the distribution sometimes. And that would be called the distribution grading curve.